Um, you know, I just think we went toe to toe with a team that's actually not a top 24 team, but it was a top 10 team. And I think they showed that this morning by uh, really taking it to Penn State, who I still think is a top 15 team. So, you know, you look at this tournament, and I think there's two top 15 teams here. And Georgia Tech is, is certainly going to rise in the rankings after this week. They probably should be a top 10 team. Um, knowing that, though, we went out there and, and we battled with them. I, I thought if we go and we win that second set and we go up two sets to zero, I think it's a completely different outcome. We give them credit. They executed and we didn't. Um, and it just goes to show this game is just a couple percentages away from win or loss. And that happened twice in the second and the fourth set. So we try to do some things um, to shore up some things. We try to um, flip the dial a little bit on matchups. Um, you know, we tried a lot of different things. Some of them worked, some of them didn't, but I still think we got a lot of tools in the tool chest that we can use and get better at. Um, this, is, this is by far not even close to the team that we will be soon. Um, you know, I, I remember looking down and, and we had 24 errors, 25 errors through three sets. That's eight errors a set, that's, that's way too many. Um, but then, you know, we come out that last set and only had two errors, but we only had 10 kills. And we forced them to get 20 kills to win that set. They had a 20 kills. They had to double our kill output. And, uh, and they won by two. So we're doing some things right. You know, I think our blocking has, was exceptional today. Um, our, our defense wasn't bad. They have legit uh, first team All-American hitters on their team. Um, I thought we did a really, uh, really nice job on Mariana, number 13 on their team. Um, and, you know, overall, um, a couple of their hitters got loose on us. Um, but I thought that, you know, I thought that we had our opportunities and we just didn't seize them when we could or we made a mistake when, when it was a critical point. Uh, but we're going to grow from that. We're going to get better from that. We're going to get better from this match. This is not going to be a match that we're going to look at and say our whole season you know, was cost on that win or loss. It's a match that we're going to grow from. We're going to get closer as a team because of this. Because I think we're going to start to realize the difference of one or two swings or one or two passes can mean the difference in a match. Yeah. Awesome. Um, speaking of blocks, you outlocked them 29 to 14. Is that something that's foreshadowing this season of um, focusing on blocks and working on that? Yeah, I, looking down, I mean, I saw on the sheet that it was actually 17 and a half to 14, but um, yeah, I, that we were, we're a blocking team. That's what we do. Um, that's what we did last year. And it's good to see us go out there and average four a set. You know, I think last year we were right around three, 3.2 or something like that. But if we can block somewhere in that four range every match, we're going to be doing really good stuff. Um, we held their offense down to 206, and, and they hit much higher against Penn State this morning. So, um, Block and defense, I think, did its job. I think offense maybe let us down just a little bit. But again, something like that. I, I'm proud of the team that they kept swinging, that they kept attacking. Um, they didn't go into a shell when they got blocked. They, they went up there to try to win it. And it just wasn't there tonight. And you have two matches tomorrow. So what does a uh, focus uh, you and your team will be looking at? Sleep. I think we need to get rest. <laughs> Um, no, and after this being a two-hour match, I want to get the team out of here as early as possible. Um, we actually, in our, in our main itinerary, we had a starting at 6 a.m. with film, and so we went back, we redrew everything to give them an extra hour and a half of rest. And then we're going to combine some things. We'll probably do our pregame meal while we're watching film and cut out serve and pass maybe and, and um, do our walkthrough during that time instead. But, Tomorrow's just going to be about management, management of time, keeping them fresh, keeping their minds engaged. Um, but it's it's not, you know, we're playing a Big East team who has votes to win their conference. And then, of course, we're playing one of the most storied programs in the country in Penn State. So um, it's not going to get any easier tomorrow, but we'll see if something that we learned tonight helps, you know, color it tomorrow and see what happens.